Okay ladies and gents, today I have a very different kind of video for you. There aren't many things in the world that make me angry. Mildly annoyed, yes, but pure unbridled rage, no. However, I came across one of these rare things on Twitter. It was a tweet from a mother explaining that her son had sadly passed away. My son Matt is now, with God, Jesus, and his loved ones in heaven. Now, dubious use of emojis aside, this was deeply saddening and terrible for all involved. That is, until you look a bit closer and a little worm of doubt appears. So, in order to understand this situation better, I went back through the timeline of events. The first time we hear anything about this devastating event is on June the 13th, the day I'm writing this. Hi guys, I'm in the hospital right now because of a somewhat rare disease called coronary heart disease. Now, I don't know if you can die from this, but I'm scared, really scared. But if you guys can share this, it would be highly appreciated. He says he's in hospital because he has coronary heart disease, and he also says that he's had it for the past five days. Apparently I've had this disease for the past five days. Now, I'm not a doctor, nor a medical professional, but I know a little bit about heart disease, and I also did some research. For those who don't know, the British Heart Foundation says the basic definition of the disease is, is when your coronary arteries become narrowed by a gradual buildup of fatty material. They go on to say, that eventually the arteries become so narrow that they cannot deliver enough oxygen, rich blood, to the heart. Then, if the artery is blocked, it can cause something known as a heart attack, or pain called angina. So you get heart pains and increased risk of a heart attack or clot. In a sense, you don't die of the disease, but of a secondary effect from it. They also go on to give us a list of risk factors. Smoking, blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, diabetes, inactivity, ethnic background, etc, etc. Now, I don't know this boy, but as an 11 year old who in his pictures looks fit and healthy, not obese, I doubt he's much at risk. But that doesn't mean much, stranger things have happened, and I can't comment on his lifestyle. It's just something to note that his description of having it for five days, from diagnosis to death, is very suspicious. Sometimes it can take decades to form. There is no cure, but there are treatments, including a healthy lifestyle and certain medications. And although it's not impossible for children to get it, it is very rare, with around 1 in 250 children having high cholesterol. It's also interesting to note that he says nothing about any tests being performed. It could be a paediatric disease, however then the parents would know beforehand and not say that he'd had it only for five days. One of his friends sent me this. They didn't know five days before, they discovered yesterday that it had been happening for five days prior. After this, he posts a picture of himself before he goes into the hospital. It's him playing the guitar and it's quite a sweet picture. Here is a photo of me before I went to the hospital. I thought I would do a face reveal since I'll be on the other side soon. However, that's not him. Further down his Twitter timeline, on April the 20th, not even two months before, we find this tweet of a somewhat face reveal. Now, I'm not wearing my glasses, but I can quite clearly see they are not the same person. The one playing the guitar has a much darker hair as well as a different skin tone. I believe the picture taken in April is actually him, as his character is often depicted with his blonde hair. Although I've tried reverse image search in the first one, I've come up empty handed. I'm not sure who it is, but I'm certain it is not him. Afterwards, he makes a few more vague tweets. Promise me, you guys will remember me. As well as encouraging people to spread it. Please share for awareness. Guys, I won't make it. Now, I don't know about you, but if one thing makes a statement to your friends explaining your death more effective, it's a ton of crying emojis. He makes one last tweet. Gonna go to sleep now, I hope I can make it to tomorrow. Using the fake picture of someone else playing the guitar, a picture of him in hospital with his character drawn like an angel, and for some reason someone on a motorbike, I can't say who that is. A rather strange thing to do, create a banner saying goodbye, along with your character in the afterlife, but at least we know he has access to a computer and drawing software in his weakened at death store state. We then hear of his passing. And just to note, all this happened between the time of 3.57am GMT and 6.43am, 3 hours. We then move on to the supposed mother tweets. Hello Twitter, my name is Lauren. I am the mother of Bagel That Draws, also known as my son Matt. He has been in the hospital for the whole day today. I am sad to announce that he will be going up to heaven in 2-3 to three hours time. Thank you for everyone who has supported him. Bye. Now, I can't be the only one who thinks her saying he'll be going up to heaven in two to three hours is strange. I mean, I didn't know death gave you an approximate delivery date. Heck, I've had parcel from Amazon that are less specific. 
Also, if you look closely, she types in the exact same way her son does, by capitalising every word, and also uses an odd amount of emojis. The trend continues. My son Matt is now with God, Jesus, and his loved ones in heaven. That's the main story. There are more tweets in response to this, of people sending condolences. The whole story to me is suspicious, because of the timing, the medical knowledge of both the supposed son and mother, the very similar tweets from himself and his mother, and the biggest clue is the different pictures. Why would you post a picture that's obviously not you, as you're dying in hospital? And it seems I'm not the only one suspicious of this. There is so much. In his profile pic, you see him wearing a cast. Why would he be wearing a cast for a heart disease? Two, I doubt his parents would want to tell the world that he was dead. Disrespectful otherwise. I'd tell more, but I'm running out of space. No, I don't believe it. There is too much evidence to prove this false. Now, I guess you're probably wondering why. Why pretend that you or your son has passed away? Would anyone be that gross? Fun fact, it's actually illegal in some places to pretend you've died. There are a few theories I have that might be why. The first is a bit of a stretch, but money. Something he retweeted whilst in the three hour time period was a GoFundMe for an animator who has actually sadly passed a meningitis. I'll post the link to the GoFundMe if anyone can help support it in the description of this video. If you haven't been informed, your boy Crunchy has recently passed away from meningitis. I'm still upset knowing that I lost a really good friend. Please help Crunchy Toast get a wonderful funeral. It is what he deserves. Every dollar helps. But another reason is for attention. The previous tweets by this account show that he often checks his stats. In conclusion, I know this is a horrible accusation, and if I'm wrong then I'm incredibly sorry. But something just doesn't feel right about this. Why use another person's picture? Why such an accurate prediction of death? Why the same writing style and use of emojis between two different people? Why the inaccurate portrayal of the disease? Like I said, I could be wrong, and these could all just be circumstantial, and if that is the case, and they can prove it, then I'm happy to apologise and do whatever I can to make it up to them. However, if this isn't the case, and it's just someone trying to get attention or money, then I am disgusted and revolted by these actions. How dare you take advantage of the community, and using death to do it is horrifying, and also in some places illegal. Like I said, I'll leave links to the legitimate GoFundMe, as well as links to meningitis and coronary heart disease info in the description for people to have a look at, and also so that you are all aware. Because whether this is real or not, coronary heart disease and meningitis are a killer. Edit 1. We spoke to whoever it was on Twitter, and asked about the different photos. They stated, He did not get a race change. The photos are edited into filters, which makes it look like he has a different skin tone now. Actually, we're not doing this for attention. Matt was my son, and he is in heaven right now, so I don't feel comfortable of you saying this is all fake. However, you'll notice that the hospital pic didn't have a filter. But then, the person running the account added one during that conversation. Then, they replied, I'm sorry for saying this and being rude, but are you blind? We slash I did not change anything, thank you very much. So after insulting us for noticing, they then changed it back to the original and denied it again. Look at my header, I did not change anything. But then, after the weight of actual proof and screenshots, yes, I changed it for a second, but then you guys were thinking I changed it for the filter situation. So they admitted it to lying. Not only that, they later posted a supposed death certificate. Unfortunately, this is the best screenshot I could get of it. Certificate of death. I censored out all the important personal stuff in the certificate. However, a few people found it to be the very first one on the reverse image search. She then claimed that her husband had taken it to work like some creepy souvenir. I can't show anyone the certificate yet because my husband has it now and he is at work. So let's recap. Fake pictures, fake death certificate, misrepresenting a medical condition, setting up a GoFundMe for money, which has since been taken down, and insulting those who dare question it. As the saying goes, coincidence? I think not. Now please don't go give the account or any of his friends hate. That's not what this video is about. If you take anything from this, please let it be the information about the diseases, and not the vile pond scum that take advantage of them. I'd like to thank so many people, but because this isn't an award ceremony, I'll keep it short to all the bush babes, to all the people who called them out and spread awareness, to Elijah, and to Felix. Thank you for your help.